Do you know how to find arithmetic means of an arithmetic sequence? That's what we're learning for today. Given two numbers B and C and a whole number K, we can insert K number A sub 1, A sub 2, all the way to A sub K between B and C, such that B, A sub 1, A sub 2, and so on, A sub K, up to C, form an arithmetic sequence. The numbers A sub 1, A sub 2, up to A sub K are called K arithmetic means between B and C. In our previous lesson, we learned that arithmetic sequence is given by the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And of course, a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, and d is the common difference. We will use this formula in determining arithmetic means. Can you find the missing term or terms in each arithmetic sequence? Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Let's go over the examples of arithmetic means. Question number one. Find the missing term between 17 and 23. So for question number one, our a sub 1 is 17. We don't have our a sub 2. And our a sub 3 is 23. If there is only one missing term, you can easily find that by getting the average of the first and the third. That means we need to do 17 plus 23 divided by 2. And that is 40 divided by 2, or that's 20. So the missing term here is 20. And the common difference here is adding by 3. 17 plus 3 is 20. 20 plus 3 is 23. Question number 2. Find the missing two terms in this arithmetic sequence. If you're missing two terms or more, I suggest that you use the arithmetic sequence a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d to find the common difference. How many terms do we have for question number 2? All in all, we have four terms because a sub 1 is negative 24, a sub 2 and a sub 3 are missing, and a sub 4 is 6. Since we have 4 terms, our n value is 4. So we have a sub 4, our a sub 1 is negative 24, our, our n is 4, so we have 4 minus 1 times d. And our a sub 4 is 6, so we have 6 is equal to negative 24 plus 3d. Solving for the d or the common difference, we add 24 to both sides. 6 plus 24 is 30 is equal to, this is 0, 3d. Now we divide by 3 to find the difference. So the difference now here is 10. Our first term is negative 24. The second term can be obtained by adding 10 to the first term. So that is negative 24 plus 10, and that is negative 14. So this is negative 14. Our third term can be obtained by adding 10 to the negative 14. So we have negative 14 plus 10, and that is negative 4. And of course, for a sub 4 to check that, we have negative 4 plus 10, and that will give us 6. So that is the correct arithmetic sequence, negative 24, negative 14, and negative 4. So the two arithmetic means are negative 14 and negative 4. Question number three. Find the three missing term in the arithmetic sequence. For question number three, we will use the arithmetic sequence a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d to find the common difference. So our last term, or a sub 5, is negative 155. Our a sub 1 is negative 35 plus n is 5 because we have 5 terms total minus 1 times d, and that's what we're solving. 
Simplifying this, we have negative 155 is equal to negative 35 plus 5 minus 1 is 4, so we have 4D. Solving for D, we need to add 35 first to both sides. If 155 plus 35 is negative 120 is equal to, this is 0, 4D, and we divide both sides by 4. So the D value here is negative 30. Our A sub 1 is negative 35. Our second term, A sub 2, can be obtained by adding negative 30 from negative 35. So negative 35 plus negative 30, and that is negative 65. For the third term, A sub 3, we need to add negative 30 from negative 65. So that is negative 95. For the fourth term, a sub 4, we add negative 30 from negative 95, so that is negative 125. And of course, the fifth term, we add negative 30 from negative 125, and that is negative 155. Therefore, the arithmetic sequence is negative 35, negative 65, negative 95, negative 125, and negative 155. The common difference here is negative 30. Question number 4. Find three missing terms in the arithmetic sequence. Using the arithmetic sequence formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. We're going to use this to solve for the common difference d. We have 5 terms in total, so n is 5. We now have 37 over 12 is equal to a sub 1 is 7 over 4, plus n is 5, so we have 5 minus 1, and that is 4d. Solving for the d, I will multiply the whole equation by the LCD of 12 and 4, which is 12. That way it's easier to solve for the value for d. 12 times 37 over 12 is 37. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 7, that's 21. Plus, 12 times 4 is 48, so we have 48D. Now we subtract 21 to both sides. So we have 16 is equal to 48D. Divide both sides by 48. And our D is one-third. Our first term is 7 over 4. So to find the second term, we need to do 7 over 4 plus one-third. And the easier way of adding fractions like this is you simply multiply 4 times 3, that's 12. And then you do 7 times 3 is 21. 1 times 4 is 4. So 21 plus 4 is 25. So this is 25 over 12. Third term can be obtained by adding 25 over 12 plus 1 third. And of course, 1 third is the same thing as 4 over 12. I will just write it as 4 over 12. So 25 over 12 plus 4 over 12 is 29 over 12. That means we're expecting here the fourth term will be 29 over 12 plus 4 over 12, and that is 33 over 12. So the three arithmetic means are 25 twelves, 29 twelves, and 33 over 12. Question number five. Find the four missing terms in this arithmetic sequence. So using the arithmetic sequence formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, we are going to solve for the d first. We have 6 terms in total, so we have a sub 6 is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Our a sub 6 or the 6th term is 49. Our a sub 1 is 34 plus n is 6 because we have 6 terms. So 6 minus 1 is 5, so we have 5d. Now we can subtract 34 to both sides. 
49 minus 34 is 15. 34 minus 34 is 0. We have 5D. Dividing both sides by 5, our D value is 3. So since our first term is 34, second term can be obtained by adding 34 plus 3, and that is 37. Third term, we can add 37, the previous term, plus the common difference 3, and that is 40. So what do you think is the fourth term? 40 plus 3, which is 43. Fifth term, that's 43 plus 3 also, that's 46, plus 3, that's 49. So the four arithmetic means are 37, 40, 43, and 46. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.